Iran is in the final stage of manufacturing its first wide-body combat drone capable of flying as far as 3,000 kilometers, Iran Air Force Commander Aziz Nasirzadeh announced. The aircraft, codenamed Cayman 22, has been designed and developed in line with the Air Force's requirements, Nasirzadeh was quoted as saying by Press TV. Cayman 22 is outfitted with different kinds of smart ammunition, as well as diverse optical and electronic warfare equipment, he said, adding that the drone can also endure airborne missions up to 24 hours. It is featured with reconnaissance, surveillance, and intelligence gathering qualities and has the capability to take pictures from distant targets, according to the report. Brigadier General Aziz Nasirzadeh on Wednesday visited a site manufacturing the advanced pilotless aircraft. He said Cayman 22, Bo 22, is the first wide-body combat drone manufactured by local experts. Equipped with various combat, optical and electronic warfare systems, the new aircraft has a flight endurance of over 24 hours and a range of 3,000 kilometers, the commander said. Cayman 22 is utilized in a range of operations, such as patrol, reconnaissance, data gathering, imaging, and aerial combat with a payload of smart weapons. In January, the Iranian army staged a war game and flew new military suicide drones that can conduct non-stop sorties to hit targets at a range of 4,000 kilometers. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made great headways in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the armed sphere. Iranian officials have repeatedly underscored that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, including its missile power, which are entirely meant for defense, and that Iran's defense capabilities will never be subject to negotiations. We have reached full maturity and skills in building various types of drones used for combat, reconnaissance and electronic warfare missions. And we have developed the technologies needed for making various types of drones based on needs, and we have on agenda production of other types of drones in future," General Nasirzada said, visiting the Cayman 22 drone production project. Cayman 22 drone enjoys combat, optical and electronic warfare equipment and is designed based on the operational requirements of the Air Force and is in the final stages of production," he added. Cayman 22 drone is the first wide-body combat drone in the country and is capable of carrying all types of cargoes with very high flight durability of more than 24 hours and a range of 3,000 kilometers, which has the ability to identify, monitor and collect information and images from distant targets. Carrying all kinds of smart ammunition it will give the Air Force a high combat capability," General Nasirzada said. In relevant remarks last month, General Nasirzadeh had said that Iran's army is going to unveil new drones in the near future. UAVs are among the most basic equipment required by armed forces all over the world, Nasirzadeh said. The commander said that Iran's army air force is fully prepared to respond to any possible threat by the enemies. He went on to say that in the drills staged in early January, new equipment and tactics were tested. Iran has one of the longest-running drone programs, ISPI researcher Federico Borsari explains.
Hampered by international sanctions and lacking a modern air force, Iran has long understood that drones, supplied to allies elsewhere, could add to their air power and give them plausible deniability, Borsari said. Drones are likely being used by Iraqi militias against the U.S. or by the anti-government Houthis in Yemen against Saudi Arabia, yet experts agree it's highly likely the technical know-how comes from neighboring Iran. At the same time, Iran can deny it had anything to do with it. From Tehran's point of view, this is an advantage, Borsari told BW. The drones in their hands can be used to exert political pressure. The proliferation of drones in the Middle East is dangerous because it alters military hierarchies in the region, explained Fabian Hinz, an independent Middle East analyst based in Berlin, who focuses on drones and ballistic missiles. Previously, you predict the outcome of any conflict. As in, this country has so many planes and this much training, so you could estimate how strong they were. drones and ballistic missiles shake all that up. One key to resolving the Middle East's growing drone issue could be better regulation. In a December 2020 editorial in the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, Agnes Calamard, a former United Nations Special Rapporteur on Executions, warned that the world has entered a second drone age, marked by the uncontrolled proliferation of armed drones, the most advanced of which are stealthier, speedier, smaller, and more capable of targeted killings than a previous generation.